Engineers and IT staff use network emulators to make sure that apps and devices will perform correctly in the cloud, the internet, and wireless environments. When users at a smartphone or PC access an app in the cloud, many factors can come into play that affect the network. Excessive network congestion might cause packets to be delayed, dropped, or reordered. A wireless access point might be underprovisioned or misconfigured. The internet is not perfect, and these apps and devices need to compensate for that. They cannot fail every time there's a glitch. So how does a software engineer test and verify that a new app withstands the wide variety of conditions that can affect cloud, wireless, and internet devices? Using a network emulator, a developer can test the device's operation under various network conditions. Let's experiment by placing a network emulator in the path of a real-time video stream. This is a quick demonstration on how to do video over IP stress testing between two SIP video phones using the KMAX impairment engine. Here we have the end-to-end -end diagram with the two SIP phones. This is the remote phone on the other system. It's sending packets through KMAX to the video IP phone on my system. If I click on the middle here, KMAX is essentially an invisible layer two bump on the wire and we can configure it to impair packets. This is the receive endpoint on my system here. It's displaying the video from the remote side. And as RTP packets come in uh, from the remote video phone, they get classified here in the classifier, and I am sending the video RTP packets through this band. And so what I can do is dial in various impairments and see how things change. Right now we have no drop impairments for the RTP video stream, but I can enable this impairment node and dial in, say, um, 2%. And down here we see that we, we get some stuttering of the uh, frame rate, some occasional glitches. Uh, but this receiver should still be able to handle it gracefully. And if I continue the testing further, I'll dial in, say, 5% packet drop. And we see a little bit more stuttering and a little hanging on the video reception. But once again, this endpoint seems to be doing OK. There's a little bit of block artifacting going on. And then the uh, extreme stress test is to drop 50% of all packets. And in this case, the receiving endpoint should be able to handle it still gracefully and uh, hopefully it will have concealment algorithms that minimize the adverse blockiness that you see here. It's doing okay for 50% drop and the test is to go back to 0% drop and verify that the receiver is able to recover pretty much 100% back to normal uh, without crashing. And that's the summary for how to do stress testing on video over IP endpoints. So what does all this mean? If you are buying or deploying equipment, network emulators like KMAX help you test which is the better product. If you are a developer, network emulation helps you refine your design to improve it. For more information, visit iwl.com. Thanks for watching.